Is finding a part-time job in Germany tough? Not really. I went outside and looked around to make sure that whatever advice I'm giving you does actually help you in real life so that you can use this video as your complete guide for your part-time job hunt. And as I had expected, in just 30 minutes, I saw two job offers just like that. And if you do exactly what I tell in this video, you will have way more options to find a part-time job for yourself. For those who are studying here, guys, you are allowed to work only 20 hours per week maximum. And if you have semester vacations, you can work up to 40 hours per week and you should keep these regulations in mind so that you don't fall in any kind of trouble. I will divide this video into 8 parts. So get a pen and paper and start writing down the points. One of your best places to start finding a job can be your university's notice boards. You can find all kind of stuff there. For example, even the student who has put this consultancy for Indian and Pakistani students, well, like I said, you can find every kind of thing there. There can be people looking for somebody to teach them English. There can be people who want a work student or a student who does a part-time job or just people looking for extra support. Feel free to send them an email, call them or go personally and talk to them. I am amazed about the things that Google Maps can find you. It can even find your potential job. For example, if you're studying in a field in which the firms have a different or a special kind of category, you can put it inside here. For example, in civil engineering, they always need some consultant engineers and there are engineer bureau or engineering offices. So you can write Brett in the engineer near Hamburg. As soon as you do it, you see all kind of engineering offices and there are of course more engineering offices than it shows on the Google Maps, but it's still a nice way to start. You can write them all down and then you can make a list like I did here. The emails I haven't written, I think it's an older list, but that's how you should do. Write the name of the company, the type, what kind of priority you want to give to the company and then the emails. As soon as you have that, then you can start applying to all kind of firms. I find this really practical. You can try this too. If you want to work as a research assistant or a Hilfswissenschaftler, you can go to the university's notice board, check out the different offers that they have posted, or you can go to your university's website and see if the institute in which you are studying at or in which you are interested to work as a research assistant has some job offers. For example, here you see that the Massive Bau Institute at the TUHS, they are looking for a student. Like I've told you before, in Germany they use ePay for almost everything and even for jobs. So you can go in the categories, you can go to jobs, mini and neighbor jobs. And then you have every kind of advertisement. You can write to these people, call them get in touch with them and they can tell you what kind of job or what your pay will be. If you don't like these kind of jobs, then you can go here. And if you want to give tuition to somebody, then you can write Nakhilfe. And then you find every kind of institute or individuals who are searching for a tutor. I actually did it myself too for a while. I was teaching some people English. And I think you guys can do the same thing, but you need to know some German for giving the advertisement, for the people to read it and so on. But if you know German, that's a really good website. You can almost every time definitely find a job. You can check out your local cafes and restaurants and they might have some places for students, but they might expect you to know good German. You can also always go to the internet, find a part-time job or a tile site jobs. And then you have so many websites on which you are offered part-time jobs you can go to it get in contact with them write them an email this is also a good option that you can try i was at Lidl, a german supermarket and i saw again some places for students who want to work part-time in the supermarket so yeah my advice is just keep your eyes open there are job offers almost everywhere job is never a problem in germany unless you don't want to do a job yourself you can always ask your batchmates or your friends about some vacancies 
at the place where they're working at you might get surprised about the offers that you get sometimes this all might be a little bit time consuming but generally it isn't like i said job is never a problem in germany if you know the language and you are willing to work just keep looking there are sometimes on ebay so many people asking for help because they want to organize an event and you don't need any kind of technical knowledge for that now guys if you like this video please like share and subscribe and don't forget to put the tiny bell button on so that whenever i upload a video you get a notification about it also consider telling about this video to the people who are actually searching for a job in germany because i'm 100 sure that they will find it useful if you have some more ideas on how you can find a job in germany please write it down in the comment section so that the others can also get help from it i will put the useful advices in the video's description along with your name like always guys thanks for watching until the next time cheers